goes to the middle of my shins. That's how uh, puffy it is. All right, then. Because Joe is a modest hey, we're man. Back. <laughs> Hell yeah. I see. So you're dressed like Ebenezer Scrooge or perhaps some sort of, like, Franciscan monk. How tedious. No Tommy Bahama, no dad balls. What am I even doing here? Wait, wait, Jeff, why'd you drag me into this fucking bullshit? Okay, can, okay, okay. Can, I'll, can I'll just... even get Tommy Bahama in ice? It's, you can get anything on the internet. This is true. Hey, you know what? You know what? He can well, get it? Because in Iceland, they the treat UK. everyone equally. Just like that. Treat everyone equally. In in Iceland, it would be like it would be like a a Tommy Bahuma or something <laughs> with with their like with their weird extra letters with their with their embellishments on regular Christian vowels. <laughs> <laughs> they got those secret vowels, you know the. Uh, they do. They have ones that are illegible. Lutheran, right? To, they got the Lutheran yeah. alphabet over there. Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. What do you expect when all of our ministers are atheists they got leftover <laughs> viking letters that they've somehow managed to like cram into our alphabet they just kind of smash them hard you know what man why don't you write it in runes i tried um, i know i know buddy you know I'm runes just... don't have a j it's fucked up uh I know what it's like to not. I okay, mean, so I actually, I look, <laughs> okay, so I googled like you know just images for Tommy Bahama. And you know how different categories. Yeah. So there's there's this category is shirt, logo, men's dress, Marlin, old man, and fat. Old man. <laughs> old man and fat. Old man and a separate category for fat. I really appreciate that there that there is like a a category of dress Tommy Bahama for for occasions like weddings. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, only like, I actually, thought of this. There summer. are Tommy Bahama dresses, Skippy. Oh, sorry. I, I thought it was like dress clothes, like a, a more upscale, you know, oh, formal no. Tommy Bahama. Like, like cruise wear? Is that where you're going? Like a cruise That's, wear? That's, yes. Exactly. <laughs> Whatever the wear. fuck cruise wear means. Your, 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 your wife, your fine wife, and her fucking vague definition of dress codes. That is. <laughs> I'm Canadian. We like rules. <laughs> I'm Canadian. We like rules. That is. See that Tommy Bahama dress looks fine. How can you hate that? This is an invasion from the '70s. That looks lovely. That looks like she's gonna drink something out of a coconut, and then wear the coconut. Uh, okay, so As Skippy, a brassiere, is, perhaps. Is this for listening to yacht rock too? What? No, this is for listening to like. I don't know. So I, I'm looking at a Supreme yacht rock list here. Yacht rock. Steely Dan, Hey Nineteen. Okay, I mean, Steely Dan is great, so... <laughs> the Doobie Brothers, minute by minute. Yeah, Doobie Brothers are awesome. Okay, I'm actually liking this. Am I into Yacht Rock? Yeah. Earth, Wind, and Fire, After the Love Has Gone. Okay, Earth, Wind, and Fire is amazing. Pablo Cruz, Love Will Find a Way. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I guess they can't all be winners. Ace, How Long. Okay. Toto, Rosanna. Yeah, of course. I mean, Toto, okay, of course. amazing. America, you can do magic. Yeah, America is amazing. Way Barbara better Streisand and Barry Gibb, guilty. Okay, seriously, Babs and the fucking dude from the Bee Gees, amazing. <laughs> okay, so I'm like, I, I, so I'm falling more into this. Okay, let me look at these stupid dresses from Tommy Bahama, and it's like, so, and it's like showing like, oh, you know, like, oh, it's in thousands of dollars. And I'm like, like, wow, why the hell would I be paying this much? And then I realized. Wait a minute, I have a PPN on, and the prices are in Danish kroner. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Whoops. But, yeah, so I I, I think these, these are actually for listening to Yacht Rock, too. Excellent. You know what? That sounds There's fine. A dress that's literally just a long freaking polo shirt. I am there all the time. <laughs> really leaning into this yeah. it's, it's like, I, I, I like the commitment you know Jeff yep. asked 
for Danny DeVito, but yep. more Italian. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not from I'm here. Sorry. I got my own customs. <laughs> Look at my Look weird at my passport. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, tires back. Hey. This ain't like Hi, one of your above ground places, but if you like them, hey, forget about it. Oh, I'm gonna need a beer. A beer, huh? Yeah, I keep buying. Hi, I keep tired. buying beer, and not drinking it, because I don't like drinking alone. See, see, now we're drinking. Look, I'm gonna get like another one, you know. Yeah. And like you get one, and you know it's it's, and we got our friends here. This is this is like yeah. a it's, a it's a gathering, you know. I'm sober. It's better than when like I'm drinking on the train, you know. It's better than that. That's just that's some alone in do public you brown business. Bag it? You have to. I mean, that's how you do it. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you're allowed to. It's just like keep it in All the right. bag, buddy. I... I'm gonna go to the fridge. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll be right back. So, uh. Back when I uh, lived in Sweden, I learned a very important lesson, which is you can't display alcohol in public unless it's clearly for uh, transport. Oh, so, okay. So if it's in a cardboard container, you know, like a box of beers, that's okay. But if you have a sole unopened bottle of wine, then that's no good. Can't even brown bag it at that point. Oh, you can brown bag it. You just can't have like the bottle visible. Is the thing. See, that's but... why I just get a purse big enough, just put the wine bottle in there and cradle it like a child. Well, I'm just oh. thinking, like, if you got a straw coming out of the box, is that gonna be all right? Is that a no go? Probably. Yeah. There's some outstanding loopholes coming on here. Lesson. I think whatever cop would try to take issue with it would probably be called a spoil sport. <laughs> just, just the judge is looking at the case. And it's just like, you're just, you're just out here yeah, to fuck with you people, scared. aren't you? You fuddy, you fuddy duddy. You little, just brown noser, you. <laughs> well, you know, snitches get stitches, cop. Case dismissed. <laughs> wow, what? Skippy says A cab. Uh, grandma's gone. I was gonna ask what's the best cop put down you've heard in court, but another time. Oof. Uh... Uh... <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, here's a good one. Mm. Hang on. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I hope you get diarrhea. Again, please remember, this was said in an oncologist's office. Not where he was the patient, where he was accompanying the patient. I hope you get diarrhea. I hope, I hope you get diarrhea. I hope you get diarrhea. You gotta say it with real conviction. Hey, whoa. It's like a it's like a terrible curse. <laughs> I mean, honestly. <laughs> I don't want to say I don't want to say like a Romani slur or anything, but I mean that is. Hey, I'm not saying you're gonna get diarrhea or anything, but uh, I'm not saying I you're don't not. get diarrhea, capiche? Listen, I'm just saying that your whole family is gonna be on the toilet for a while. All right, <laughs> gonna make sure this happens. Separate toilets. It's gonna be like the Incredible Hulk coming out of the back of everybody's pants. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just a big old this? bush. <laughs> the size of Bruce Banner. <laughs> you're, you're literally gonna shit out a particle physicist. That is... I, I curse thee to shit out a poop the size of an average particle physicist. <laughs> It's gonna be like sir coming out. <laughs> but then I then I hope halfway through it becomes enraged and becomes Hulk sized. It just gets tired so of how you long can't... it's taken. So so you're already like in it and you can't stop. 
and it's just horrible. It's going to be a horrible time for your everyone shits. involved. I mean, you're just saying your shits are becoming like reverse Ant Man. Is like what you're just saying. <laughs> That's right. Essentially, it's going to be like that weird fetish thing that everyone keeps talking about for Thanos, except it's going to be a poop. What? <laughs> okay. Excuse no, no, no. me. One of the way that Thanos could be defeated is if Ant Man were to crawl inside Thanos' rectum and then enlarge. I heard somebody talking about beer mittens, which feels like kitten no, mittens. No, no, I have. I, no, I don't. I don't have a actual can cozy because normally I drink from bottles. Ah. And. Um, and so I was looking for a can cozy because I thought I got one as you know from a wedding, and I can't find it. So I'm like, wait, but I have a mitten, and that'll be just as fine. Brilliant. I'd like to propose a motion to hereafter refer to the anus as the beer mitten. Okay. Mm. <laughs> motion denied. Can I get a second? Yay. I'll get that. Yay. All right. I passed it. It's passed. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh... It's official. Fine. I have no fucking use for the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Friendship cancelled with Jeffrey. Oh, Tyra is no. Best no. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants this. Oh, no. <laughs> You're mitten time. <laughs> Again? This <laughs> upset Kirby immensely. Hey, hey, Skippy, listen. Exactly. You need to understand this something here. Me. What do I need to understand? That, that you're a fucking traitor? I'm the one that's in control here. Hey, I'm the one that's in control here. <laughs> I am the one that's in control here. But you know what? I <laughs> I can lift my body from this chair. That's, why are you... Spoilers, come on. <laughs> Did you guys not run through these? What the fuck? No, are you not doing? yet. We were we well, we were playing Secret of Mana, and then I I did power level. We're at like level ninety eight and ninety seven, so it was going quick. But still, there's just a lot of go here, go there, sure. go back there. Go, a lot go. of secrets to uncover. There's a All lot right. of secrets. There's a lot of secrets. Well, sorry, man. Maybe next time you fucking ping me out of a nap, maybe just throw down the ground rules then. <laughs> hey, um, I am because you know. You I, know what? This is what happens when you skip rehearsal, Jeffrey. Fuck. You're the one that's skipping rehearsal, <laughs> getting in late on Friday next week. We I'm just want to bring it back to it. me. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're just we're just winging it. It's we're vaudeville just, now. We're just riffing. Is this free jazz? I think this is basically just free jazz. This is just a just a loud conversation, <laughs> banging people. Yes. Check out this gif I posted. I don't, um, oh, it's that, yeah, I got you, I remember that episode of that 70s show. Yeah. I'm it, working on it. This is right after he raises his hands to, uh, to the vote of giving, uh, Eric a venereal disease. Right. It tires me. <laughs> this tires tire? This has tired me greatly. Yeah. <laughs> I just suffered through a, a house blackout. Come oh, no. back, people. Eh, it's seventies. It's seventies wiring. What the fuck do you expect? Oh, oh, right. so oh everything's like that, coated. Like the house and... to be on fire, but go on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not aluminum at least anymore. So whatever. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Copper coated uh, aluminum. Uh, al aluminum. Aluminium. 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 Wrong speaking to people in the world. Dude, that's just what aluminum's called in metric, okay? It's just a bunch of shit, and every oh. chemist knows it. We just call it Alf. You know, Alf. It, Alf? It's easy to Alf? say. Alf. 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 Yeah, it's delicious, Alf. I can lift my body from this chair. See, it was coming up next, Skippy. <laughs> wow. You were so close. You were psychic. That's what it was. That was our rehearsal. That was well, I mean, you you basically already posted these earlier. So. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was, it was there. Yeah, in chat. It doesn't count. 
it's like a it's like a Chris Angel thing going on with that. Doesn't doesn't count, huh? It doesn't hey, it doesn't count if what it's What card not... am I thinking of? Seventeen. It is the blue eyes white dragon. Seventeen is a card. It was the seventeen. <laughs> uh, the seventeen of hearts. Yeah. I got one of those, but, you know, Canadian decks. They go up to seventeen. Yeah, obliterate. Metric, metric metric cards. Metric cards, yes. Yes. Not... They're all base ten. Wait. So that I means am... there's no monarchy. I was Great. A, uh, picture of this of my shame. <sighs> the anus is the beer bin. <laughs> nice. I'm not showing you a picture of my ass, you perv! <laughs> That's a butt! It's really good. Why do you have a Canadian mitten? Because I had a Canadian Santa! Oh. I'm sorry. What is a Canadian Santa? I, had, I was part of a secret Santa on Something Awful, and one year my Santa was Canadian. Uh huh. So I got like a few bars of coffee crisp, I got the mitten, I got like a little polar bear keychain. They're great because they leave a maple leaf when you slap somebody. <laughs> Look, <laughs> let me tell you something about medication. Meditation is my medication. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> So, uh, so Trash Dad is pretty, pretty new age, huh? Uh, yeah, you know, I he's guess. Pretty, he's he, pretty, pretty skippy granola, is he? He would, he would say that he's, he's very, uh, new age. I, I don't know if I would. But it just means that he's really into edibles. I gotcha, I gotcha. No, no, he's, he's, he's not that cool. Uh, is that Look cool? Drugs are for imagery. losers. That's, you know, I don't, I don't know. Who am I? I'm not your dad. I'm not anybody's dad. I'm gonna keep it that way. Right. Wow, same. I mean, dads are really nothing but a social construct, so. Mm -hmm. Dads are a state of mind, and if you wish it, you can enter that state. That's right. I'm just saying. Apparently, in 2019, anything can be a dad because everyone's a fucking degenerate. Oh, oh, you're directly okay. You you took it to the weird place. I just wanted like everyone to be out grilling sausages, mowing their lawns. I everybody sport. I don't know if we've met before, but yeah, I I took it to the weird place. <laughs> hey, I have more freedom you. now than just, I've uh, ever had. <sighs> just. That's gonna no. be Skips when he shows up in the uh, next weekend. Wait, what? I have more freedom now than I've ever had. <laughs> That's absolutely <laughs> categorically not true. I'm gonna be a stranger in a in an unholy land. <laughs> we we have you but probably. In a strange land. Uh, I'm I, I'm I jealous. That if you bring a sausage to a zona, that <laughs> that means that you're. Uh, Steaming it. That means I'm a Finn. I'm not going to Finland. I'm not going to the fucking Arkansas of Europe. Hey. Finland has more than one area. Finland has uh, Helsinki, which is a very, very cultured place where you can get a yeah, burger. And then all the Finns go the take the then all the Finns there go over take the ferry over to Estonia to get drunk because beer is expensive. Why don't you buy beer when there's Costco Corva right there in the governmental uh, dispensary? Because you can't buy pitches of beer. Wait, have they, have they like subsidized just hooch? What? No, yeah, it's, I... it's, 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 it's like in it's like in Canada where liquor stores are all government run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. They call it a government monopoly. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So like, how it works in Canada is uh, out out east, out east the uh the government runs uh liquor stores. So basically, you go there and you just 
you go up to the counter and you're like, hi, I'd like a two four of Labatt, and they just roll it out on one of those like rolly conveyors. Oh it's... man, you should see how they uh, do it over here. You just go into a store and there's huge uh... UFO catchers. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a drink. No, it's, everything's you have to your right to drink in Iceland. <laughs> everything's on a shelf. That's the thing. Like, you just go to the uh, white wine section, and there's like shelves upon shelves of white wine. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how it is in the states. I mean, yeah. you go to a beer store. Yeah, grab your beer. Uh, hopefully, you got enough beer so you don't have to pull out the shitty piece of plastic you got in your wallet. You throw some money, and there you're drunk. Congratulations. You won. You won. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> and then you had. Then you have more freedom now than you've ever had. That's exactly. right. More freedom to hot lunch. Ooh. And here's, 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 also, I spelled out uh, out east. There in the chat. I hope you like it. Oh, okay. Aldest. Out east. Aldest. Out east. Out east. Out east. Uh, Out east. look. I don't expect you guys to understand <laughs> my foreign culture and my way of speaking. Mm -hmm. Um, I you mean... know, it's it's fine. I'm used to it. <laughs> I'm used to being mocked for my quaint way of speaking and my my strange customs. My plaid. <laughs> My plaid. I was wearing the plaid fact today. That it's fine. I have a queen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I man. mean, go off. <laughs> Fucking monarchy. Get the she bitch off the money. Okay. We don't. Uh, we don't have pennies. That's that's another thing. That, that's progressive. Uh, Why would you have pennies? That we got going on. Um, you know. So that's I, that's weird. Um, when did you discontinue pennies? Oh, some years ago. Wow, well, I'm out of the loop. Make any Sense? Yeah. Just, uh, how dare you not keep up on fucking Canadian monetary policy? I'm just waiting for the Icelandic loony to get uh, just uh, taken out of commission. Is that spelled with an umlaut? Is it a loony? Uh, no, it's, it's just... A loony? Does it even have Does it even have a loon on it? Alright, get the fuck out of here! No, get, it, get the fuck out of the house already! I got a fart! <laughs> no, 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 me. All the coins in Iceland have fish on them. It's it's actually pretty cool. Is it? That does yeah. sound that does yeah. sound lit as fuck. To have fish money. It's, it is fish money. I wish but I have fish that money. Was a series of words I didn't want to hear out of anyone's mouth. <laughs> fish money. Main lit as export. fuck. <laughs> lit as fuck. Come on, man. Come on. Ice Iceland's main export is fish, so sure. we. So I got we'll you. Fish money. But like on the bills, there's important people, you know. Important fish. <laughs> oh, like oh, is your king Aquaman? <laughs> <laughs> no, we we don't have a king. Oh man. No You're... gods, no masters. We've got a powerless fish. president who gets only voted fish. into office to do nothing except you know represent the nation. That's a dream, ain't it? Sure, you guys don't have like a Yarl or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. We I'm trying to. DM. I am. I am worried about the context of this one. I'll be honest. The rest of them I could let fly, <laughs> but the context yeah. of this particular quote just. Why is he? Why is he? He needs the whole house. <laughs> <laughs> he is not comfortable without it. Like when everyone's going grocery shopping, it's just like time to just fucking crop dust this bitch up. Everybody. everybody. One of my mom's dogs likes to crop dust. <laughs> and dog farts are the worst. It's a power move. Don't get me yes. wrong. But <laughs> Jesus H, man. The dog would go and like jump on your lap. You you pets or whatever, and then you're like, get off, like you know, two seconds later. And I'm like, oh, that's like, and that's like, and then, and then the smell just hits you, and he's just like, ah, oh, why? <laughs> the most mm -mm. tedious trap. Sometimes I'm relieved that I live alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. You... I am 
Hollow relieved. I live alone. You can fart wherever you want. Yeah. I mean, you can do that anyway if you're just brave enough. <laughs> if you're not a so, fucking coward. So the the bus stops. Uh, the bus shelters over here. They're just like uh, there's poles, and in between the poles, there's like panes of glass. But there's uh, space between the panes and the poles, and they're held up with like their own little thing. Mm -hmm. So you could just like uh, lean up against like the uh, outside corner of a bus shelter and just crop dust the inside. Mm. It owns. God. <laughs> just. I, I do remember one particular time coming back from a fucking CC's pizza. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. And I had me the whole damn spinach pizza all to myself. Mm -hmm. Absolute just destroyed it. Going back, we had five people to the car just packed to the gills. Mm -hmm. and lo and behold, none of the windows worked. <laughs> at all and it just it still to this day over a decade later every time people in my particular group who were in that car see a spinach pizza and me going toward it they will immediately move it away <laughs> I believe that's at the time what they called hotboxing I yes um, it, it was a war crime uh, it wasn't just a simple hot boxing. It was it required Geneva Convention uh, standards to be brought up. It, wow. yeah, it was it was bad. I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's, that's... Just gotta be brave enough. I'm just saying. <laughs> what even is brave in this sin sick world? Yeah, doing what you I want. Mean... I, I know of at least one company that uh, would equate bravery with removing uh, headphone jacks from a phone. Oh. God. Nothing blocks me. Knock me out, I'll rip the walls down. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of sounded like somebody from the first Mad Max movie with that one. That was beautiful. Just standing. It's going to go on a big run. Reason. Knock out the big bopper. <laughs> Where's the Knight Rider? Like, so he, you're knocked out. You're falling down. <laughs> like, are you falling onto walls that then crush... I, I don't know. I don't know what he ever means. I have no idea. Pointing, I mean, I'm just reenacting, pointing at someone. Nothing blocks me. If you knock, if you knock me out, I'll rip the walls down. Perhaps that is some semblance of logic and context. That's giving him too much credit, I feel. Uh, it, like, I get the if. I just like... Yeah. You're knocked out already. How are you gonna rip the walls? I just, I, I imagine a lot of these things are said when he's just suddenly starting awake from a nap. <laughs> See, just, that would, that would, that would again, that would, you know, just kind of put put it together with a nice bow. No, he was he was fully cognizant, and these are just listen responses. When you get older. You, sometimes you nap and your eyes don't close. Okay. <laughs> Resting the eyes. See, right? Skips. Skips is gonna meet him, and I'll tell him after you know he has had to deal with him for hopefully as little as possible during the reception how old he is, mm -hmm. and he's still gonna be astounded no matter how old he thinks he is. It's it's yeah it's it's impressive how with it and not with it he is given how old he is. Uh, well, I don't want to disappoint you, but I am in the trades. <laughs> so, I know you think your old man is something special, but, uh... I've, I've worked in the trades, too, my friend. Yeah. I, I, I cut plenty of plastic in the old toilet shop. Sure. 
took a bunch of band yeah, saw sometimes blades. you just gotta lay the oars in the boat <laughs> I mean just just a lot of dumb motherfuckers man some dumb motherfuckers are always trying to skate uphill <laughs> yeah alright well I'm gonna go to bed please enjoy Thanks, right. Skippy. Thanks, Skippy. I should probably go to bed too. It's uh almost three twenty. Uh not even the good number. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing <laughs> sorry, it's a saw it switched over. <laughs> so is it like with logic but with a Y? No, no. Um, he he Yogic. does he does fancy himself to be someone who I'm doing my fucking yogic breathing. <laughs> Do you mind? He was he was breathing very loud at this appointment, and when told, "Hey, you are disturbing the people who actually are here to be treated for their cancer," that was his reply. Mm. Right. Yeah, because that's appropriate. That's <laughs> that's absolutely. Mm. That's that's a thing a person does. I'm doing my fucking yoga breathing. <laughs> Do, Do you mind? mind? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> but yeah, he he fancies himself to be a practitioner of uh, meditation, or as my sister calls it, you're napping on the couch while sitting upright. <laughs> Has he uh, progressed to crystals at any point, or? Um, he's uh, he, it's so he he was a Catholic, ah, and like Catholic, like Italian Catholic, so like was an altar boy, you know, like the full the full thing. Um, but he had to leave the church because he wanted a divorce back when you were not allowed to get a divorce if you were Catholic. Gotcha. Um, and then, and then he did the thing that you especially couldn't do back then if you were not only Catholic but Italian Catholic. He wanted to marry outside the faith. Oh boy! Yeah. So then he got into this weird hodgepodge thing that he's been doing. That he says combine. It's 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 like a, like a religion one hundred and one textbook where there's like. A little bit of Islam, a little bit of Christianity, a little bit of Judaism, all kind of hodgepodge together. Mm. He, he couldn't just become Lutheran? You know, I mean, I, I guess in his defense, it was like the late 50s, early 60s. Mm. Yeah, the best thing they had at that point for people who then want to go by the rules was like, here's your religion hot dog, put that on a bun. No. Thanks. <laughs> Have you heard about this th new thing called orgone energy? <laughs> it's just a combination of orgasm and ozone. Listen, listen, I don't want to hug my children. I'm going to put them in a box that's going to generate this magic energy beams for them. And then they'll come. Yeah, it's bad. I, it, don't touch your children. Put them in a box. I should, I should add that to the list. I mean, that's, that's good advice. It, I mean, they're not going to get dirty that way. You just put them in a box, and they're hermetically sealed. It's perfect. Your lineage is maintained. Um, you can display them. Oh, boy. <laughs> we'll hug and heal them. <laughs> <laughs> The thing about the Orgone Accumulator is that it was expressly about just orgasms. Just jizzing real hard, huh? Yeah, you, you go to the box, and then you come out of the box just fully satisfied. <laughs> you had the pause there, you come out the box... <laughs> Oh God! Also, like, uh, he really wanted to. Um, the, uh, the the same guy who had the box also had uh, what he called a cloud burster, which was a bottle of some uh, a sort of uh, space age laser 
that he aimed at the clouds and apparently the Oregon would dissipate them? Excuse me? <laughs> yes. The thing is, like, or uh, every time you hear about Oregon today, it's nuts. But it's never not been nuts. Right. As opposed to back in the day when Kellogg was thinking, like, hey, all these people are fucking, you know, nuts yeah, off their fucking, tits. Yeah, they're fucking too much. Let's well, I mean, Kellogg was fuck. like, they're Who nuts off their tits. Let yeah. me just put some milk up their ass. Ah. <sighs> Come out the box. <laughs> Why would you Come ever leave? Box fully satisfied. Why would you ever leave? There's no point. What is outside the box that's so great? The thing is, other people need their turn. I mean, the they can get their own box. Let's light this. Let's <laughs> let's light this. Let's light this. I don't know what it is. Let's light this. What? Light it, light it up. Not a, not a man of of drugs, you say. <laughs> I swear, not a man of drugs. Never, nope. Never has consumed I mean, Anne Reefer. Definitely had a jazz cigarette at least twice. He was a jazz man. Wowie zowie. But... A man who survived the sixties never had the drug. A man <laughs> I didn't who survived the seventies as well and never had a drug. No, he he definitely had some jazz cigarettes, but mm-hmm. you know, um, and this is this is by. Cigarette? This is like a doobie? Yeah, 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 the dude. It's a jazz cigarette. Jazz cigarette. Never heard of jazz cigarette before? You crack open a you crack open a cigarette, you throw some reef in there, you roll it up, you're good to go. It's a jazz cigarette, baby. Alright. I like something today. Shitty blunt. Well, you know, Before, dude. I mean, back in the day, they're like, "Oh man, weed used to be so much better." And it's like, dude, you had no fucking idea what you were doing with that shit the, the whole is, damn time. The, the, the only thing I know about drugs, like back mm-hmm. then versus right now, is that people right now are doing a lot more of it. It's true. It's true. People, well, I mean, people can do a lot more of it. It's more widely yeah. available. Also, uh, back well, in the eighties, like, uh, back, back in those days, like, I mean, the doctor—you'd go to the doctor's office, and like, if you were nervous or something, the doctor would give you a cigarette. Yeah, Ready? just pump you full of opium. It's all good. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just pump you full uh, but... of tobacco and nicotine. It's like, oh, you see, it's like, oh, you need to calm down. He's like, oh, you seem nervous. Here, have a cigarette. I have a lighter. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> I have two. You can keep that one. I got plenty of them. I heard you like smoking. Oh, Lord. Hey, ladies. <laughs> Here's some radium. Why don't you lick the pencil that you're u- using to paint all these clocks? And then we're going to oh, dig up Lord. all of that land in New Jersey because it's toxic. <laughs> Another thing that I almost know about drugs is that, like, back in the 80s, cocaine used to be a lot better because it was all coming from the CIA. Ah. Uh. It was all pure. Ever since that globalization has just all gone downhill, you got the McDonald's of Coke. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's all coming from home ops. It's hard to say, honestly. I mean, they still have medical grade cocaine, in case you are not aware. It is a oh. uh, widely used thing for people who have really bad nosebleeds. <laughs> Interesting. Yep. Wait, what? You use cocaine mm. for it really bad? I thought cocaine caused nosebleeds. It's it's kind of like picking your nose. Sometimes it fixes the problem. Sometimes you just get a bleed. It just depends. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So let's light this. Let's light I know this. They have, like at the hospital. That... I don't need to be taken. <laughs> I, I where, don't uh, need to be taken. Where, where are we I taking you? Have, like at the hospital, they'll have like stuff. Off like, the ass. Like, <laughs> like, like, like alcohol or something to, um, because there are some people who are so addicted to like alcohol that if their blood, if their blood alcohol content isn't is below like you know a certain amount, then they like. Yeah, your body will shut could, down. Yeah, the body hey, you will shut be down. Off so. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll need to be taken. 
look on the don't. back of the pill bottle. Doctor's instructions. I don't need to be taken. <laughs> Was he getting up from a chair? Was someone like, okay, <laughs> time to time to get you into the car? I, I don't need it. I think, I think maybe he, he thought someone was maybe implying that, you know, it was time to uh, just, like, be shuffled along his way. Right. You know, that maybe There's maybe he was days. overstaying his welcome or making some people uncomfortable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, perish the thought. No. <laughs> like, Never. That, like, the one about freedom is especially good, which I'm, I'll jump back to that one real quick, because this, right, right. this is one to touch on. Um God, I haven't stayed up this long in quite a while. So I'm glad you're here. So the thing the thing about I have more freedom now than I've ever had, he's really never not been free. Like was the mm-hmm. oldest child, like the only boy in like a very Italian family. Oh, okay. Has, so he's got Yeah, like decided while he was still married to go cross country mm-hmm. and get married again without t- yeah just like, he is this is a man who has never not had a free moment in his life despite right. having like five children at, with multiple wives all right but here's the thing he lives in america mm-hmm. so like yeah that's that's like defi- i have i have no idea how he's quantifying that like at that point he had more freedom than ever before especially Funny. when this was said again as with all of these in an oncologist's office, not when he was the patient, when he was with the patient. <laughs> what a trash man. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. There's no other way to describe this. Yeah, yeah. This is a trash man. He's the trash man. Trash <laughs> man. Freedom to trash. And here's, here's our final one. Mind your business. See, and and now it's it's written like that on purpose because if you call how Frank Reynolds says whore, it's like whore, like that that apostrophe. Mind you, that's that's why it's there. It's kind of for you know it's your pronunciation guide. Yeah, because right. that's, that's how he's saying. That's what I did. It. Yeah, yeah, no, you know it was great. Did you hear it? It was no, it was very good. Mind your business. You are. But you're. You are. Mind your business. <laughs> kind of morphing into the trash man there for a moment. <laughs> you tap we deep are, into the well. Yeah, deep, like deep down, we are all trash men. Ooh. I, mean, I, I try to not be. Also, withdrawal has two A's. <laughs> Don't be so making fun of my face. accent like that. <laughs> With troll. Sure. <clears throat> I I think there's a Alice Cooper song about that. <laughs> Becoming the trash. Uh huh. I I think it's just called Trash. Yeah. No. Yeah, um... I, that's New York Dolls is a song called Trash. Yeah, but get, get me back in the chat because this is some shit. <laughs> he's, he's, he's sleeping. He's sleeping, man. He's up the neck. Okay, well, we're going to talk about fucking whiskey Tide Pods here. What? No. I, no. No. Yes. Whiskey. Yes, I posted it in the, in the Discord. No, because I'm going to get us audio muted again. I did that once already. Oh, no. We were listening well, yeah. to Confederate Railroad because that was what was on the jukebox at, like... Fucking jello shots. <sighs> really? Yeah, they're just, like, they're Tide Pods, but it's just whiskey instead of poison. Why can't you just drink whiskey out of, like, an airline bottle? Why can't you just drink whiskey out of a regular-sized bottle like an actual fucking human being? This is so... Just straight out the bottle. This seems like such a bad idea. Uh, who is this shit? Cripes almighty. Uh, I, I, jeez, I think I need to go pray. 
this. <laughs> just for just for edible just for edible uh, booze edible booze but but it is edible it's a liquid it's yeah oh, it's an edibles you just eat these whenever you want just just keep it in your Am purse I... and, and <laughs> pop it in your mouth when your kids recital is boring you. Yeah, like that's that's. Am I supposed to just have like a jug of? These? Is it is it just too hard to go throughout the fucking day? For you, it's okay. You just have this whenever. I've, yeah, like bars aren't hard to find. Wait. Booze isn't really that hard to find. Okay, but <laughs> what if you put this in like a. A bottle of uh, those uh, fish liver pellets. And you just, are you uh, talking bring about them like, with you wherever? Are you talking about like the cod liver oil <laughs> shit that people take? It's something that did uh, the uh, trash man used liver, to take. Yeah, yeah he used cod to take liver cod liver oil. oil. Uh, I mean, once again, if you're not a coward, you could just bring a bottle like wherever you want. People <laughs> don't say shit. Here, here's. The, the actual solution you're a coward you don't want people to know that you're drinking on the bus or on the train or something like that there's a multitude of plastic bottles with non-translucent material that you can pour booze into and then just drink from oh so like a sprite bottle i mean anything like you Man. have water bottles whatever fuck it who cares <sighs> Mind your business. <laughs> yeah. yep. See, Mind it, your why, business. When you're eating the whiskey Tide Pod. Yeah. Mind your business. <laughs> exactly. Like this is a this is actually the perfect situation. Someone's like, hey, you know, maybe you shouldn't be drinking in public like this. Mind, Mind your, your business. business. Am I drinking? Clearly, I am eating. Clearly, yeah, I'm eating exactly. a Tide Pod yeah. of whiskey. A fucking Tide Pod of whiskey. No glass they required. Find, you know what? They're making this for like, oh, oh the millennials are always talking about eating Tide Pods. <laughs> but let's be honest, this is some stupid ass boomer shit. Like, this straight up and up. Ass boomer shit. This is stupid ass boomer shit, straight up and up. Because from what I understand through the whole Tide Pod challenge phase that the nation went through, um, the majority of poisonings were just from like middle-aged people, just like putting in their mouth for a moment. Okay, yeah. good job. You did it. You got poisoning. Nice. Wait, the middle-aged right now—that's Gen Xers, right? Yeah. I don't know anymore. Boomers are old. Boomers are old. Yeah, Not we old get enough. On some, uh, boomer dumbass shit. We can swing this right on back to Crystal Head Vodka. Yeah, yeah. Sponsored so by awesome. and presented by Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> the ultimate boomer. Wow. So if you defeat him, all the rest just turn to dust, huh? I would hope so. Fascinating. When was Dan Aykroyd? 52. He's part of the uh, baby boom. Hmm. Look at you, Dan Aykroyd. Fuck you, Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Wow, those are some terrible, terrible mugshots they got of him on Google. <laughs> I, I went to the Wikipedia page and god damn, his face just <laughs> gave up. <laughs> it just had a structural failure. It just man, I can't wait till I'm old and my face gives up. I mean like if you can if you can swing it, you have the personality, like it doesn't matter. You don't need ocean inspectors to come around and say, like, yeah, your face is up to code. Let that shit slog off, whatever. Mm -hmm. But Dan Aykroyd does not have that personality. Boston makes me feel good. I, why? Good job, Danny. He did it. He did it. And we did it. That's 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 all the trash we man I got. Wow. We did it. We did all it's 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 a tight it's a tight eighteen picture series, you know? Mm -hmm. Um 
something. I'm sure. I'm sure if I hadn't have banned him from sending me text messages, there would be more. But oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice internet content to never have my elderly father send me text messages. No, 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 like, you have prime internet material next weekend, Jeff. No, I don't need that. <laughs> you know what I, you know what I need? Him to just go back to the old way where he'd call me if he needed to talk to me. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll get a text message and I'll reply back. I don't know what you're trying to say because it's all emojis. Mm -hmm. You need mm -hmm. to call me on the phone. Don't ever text me again. It's simple. Oh, is it? My mom drunk texted me at a baseball game once. <laughs> nice. nice. My mom used to okay. drunk dial me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so no. um, and I brought a guy I was dating at the time, and my mom and my aunt were in the bleachers. This is at Bigley Field. And they had this thing where it's like, oh, you know, they just, they were in a special bleachers section where it was unlimited food and unlimited booze for the game. And I'm like, wow, what a hell of a deal. By the fifth, fourth, fifth inning, my mom was drunk texting me about how cute David DeJesus was and how they were going to go sneak into the laundry section to steal his pants. And I'm like, David. okay, thanks, Mom. And I'm like, I've already driven for eight hours. Tired. I had to go drive up to Western Illinois to pick up said boyfriend, and then drive another four hours into Chicago. And <laughs> it was it was a day. I was already not feeling well. So after the game, I had to drive back. At least that's what the plan was. And so you know, we meet up at the bar afterwards, and because Brigley is surrounded by bars, as you would in Chicago, and so. I need to sober up because I had two beers. I am sick. And we get, to, we get to, we get, you know, we get my mom. Mom's like, hey, what are you, you know, it's like, I'm going to get you a drink. What are you drinking? And I'm like, I need, like, water. I need to sober up. Oh, my mom comes back with a big old fucking pitch, like, big old fucking glass of beer. <laughs> mom, this is the opposite of what I needed. And I drank oh. it anyway because I'm polite. And so we ended up crashing at a friend's house that night. And I slept on the floor, and I was just miserable the whole time. <sighs> like, I had to use a coat as, like, a blanket. It was a bad time. I... You haven't really lived until you're sleeping on the bathroom floor using the toilet, as a, or a toilet, using a towel as a blanket. I've done that yeah. many times. Yeah. I contemplated that when I got too drunk, and I, like... <laughs> I need something cold to lie on because my face is flushed. Yeah. And I've contemplated sleeping in my bathtub a few times. But I mean, I'm like, no, no, I need to actually sleep in bed. I already have joint problems. Like, I, I don't need to deal with the arthritis in the morning. So. <laughs> well. That's how you know when you're getting old when you're, when the arthritis takes priority of when you sleep. Oh. Uh... Oh, I'm already there. <laughs> I'm out. All See right. ya. Good night, Joe. All right, dude. Take Good it, night. Joe. Take it easy. Well, we've we we've had come a, a long way. We had an adventure. We had. Yeah. We I think I think we did about half as much talk as video gaming, and damn it, I like that. Yeah. Ain't too ain't too bad. Tea bad, if you will. <laughs> tea pain, tea bad. T-Bad. Until tomorrow. Have a great evening. Have a great Yay. one, folks. All right. Good night.